All right, so I came over to my neighbor's house, master bath lab faucet because he has got a drip. It says it's pretty annoying in the middle of the night. Would like this change. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you how to figure out which one of these is actually leaking and then we're gonna replace the cartridge. So come along, let's get to fixing. So first thing I like to do is get right here to the aerator and you wanna get this off. Okay, this actually comes off pretty easy. If it didn't, you might have to put some pliers on it or something. Just be gentle. You might mar it. The aerator is always going to hold a little bit of water. This is where water and air mix to actually make a nice stream in your faucet. We are going to get underneath here and we're going to start by shutting the cold water line off. Just make sure we get all the water out of here and then we'll wait. I don't see any water there. Let's turn that back on real, oh, nope, I do get a drip. Yep, okay. Let's shut the hot side down then. I'm just gonna turn the cold back on. We've got no drip coming out now. So it turns out that the hot side is the culprit. Let's change this cartridge right here. So this is a Moen eight inch sitter widespread lav faucet right here. And so swapping the cartridge out on this it's gonna be kind of simple. It is a 1224 and you're gonna want a little specialty tool. Kind of got these two notches down in here, a metal tool by Moen that they made it kind of easy, 14272. There's no escutcheon, there's no screw holding this on. You just kind of got to grab this body right here and spin. Remove this, you can see there is a Phillips head screw down in there. Grab our trusty six in one. Pop this bad boy right here out. You can see that it looks a little funky monkey down in there. There's a, uh, there's some shavings of stuff and whatnot. This is where this tool right here is gonna come in handy. And it's just gonna go down there and it's gonna fit right into slots. There's actually two slots that fits in. Get that right on there. If you can't do it by hand, you're gonna have to pull out a pair of pliers. These are Kanipex Cobras. They got that crazy grip. You just start turning, get that loose. And it actually is gonna come out pretty easy after that. This is going to thread all the way out. This piece right here has got threads on it. You don't have to buy this tool. You can probably do it with a little pair of pliers. That little tool just makes it much easier. Now, this part is where a nice pair of quality vice grip style locking pliers comes into play. These are actually made by Crescent and they're pretty nice for this job, okay? So you just wanna get down in here, grab a hold of that, like so, and then pull on out. With this kind of a grip, this works out pretty nice. You really wanna remember the orientation. You want this little nubby right here to be on the outside. So try to get all that water out of there if you can. You wanna check it out, make sure it's clean. If there's any debris, you might wanna run a little water, take a paper towel and stick it around there and then just run a little water. But in this case, there's nothing in there now. So with this new 1224 cartridge, it already comes with some silicone grease on the O-rings. All right, I popped a little more on there just to be on the safe side, because that's how I like to roll. And then we can just take this, get it where you want it lined up, push it right down in there. Make sure you get your retainer ring here, all nice and cleaned up, free of debris. Pretty tight. I'm just gonna give a little snug a look with the jaws. When I put this cartridge down there, I was trying to keep it right like this, but it cocked a little bit to that side. It's gonna be okay, watch. Get this down on there. It only fits one way and make sure that it's turned to the closed position. You can see that's how that rolls. So if I show you on the old one, it's only gonna fit down like so. Okay, it only fits one way. It doesn't go there, it doesn't go there. It really only goes one way. So no matter where it's at, you want it to be right up next to that piece. If you're turning clockwise, that's gonna be off. Tighten that down. Here's the nice thing about all these splines right here. This actually is like for a good micro adjusting, right? It's gonna allow us, even though that cartridge is not straight, it's gonna allow us to put this on straight and it's still gonna work exactly where it needs to. 
That's the nice thing about this. Even though that was a little bit in there, a little bit different, doesn't matter. So if you look at that, that's actually straight on there. And now you can just take this, tighten it down, come down to the bottom, open the hot side, and we'll turn it on. Awesome. Put our aerator back on. And there we go. And so we're back in business there with no drip. Any of you folks out there got a mowing faucet like this one, I really hope this video helped. If you folks could please subscribe, click that like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. We're just trying to help people and hope we're doing that. Thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon. Nice thing is, is I came back four hours later because I forgot to shoot something under the sink and check that out. Not a drip in sight. Good to roll.